bless you god bless you god bless you this is apostle deanna dixon i pray that you are having a blessed day in the lord blessed night whatever time it is whatever um area that you're in in this world praise god i'm going to wait till i see a few more people you know i haven't been on here um y'all already know warfare after warfare but that's not really the thing that i'm here to talk about tonight because um praise god praise god so let me see if i see you guys okay i'm starting to see you guys okay y'all come on in share tag praise god praise god share tag um i know it's kind of, and i don't ever come on this early so y'all already know so um okay enough of y'all on here praise god praise god how y'all doing i have missed some of you too notice i say some of you because some of y'all some witches and warlocks that's watching me oh yeah let me tell y'all something hallelujah 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 when you going through god is with you and you come out stronger come on somebody don't make me start and i ain't even started come on somebody hallelujah oh it's been good for the good and the bad works for those that love the lord and are called according to his purpose oh come on somebody if it wasn't for the bad you wouldn't understand the good hallelujah to his name so let me tell you what god was saying so this is thus said the lord something national is getting ready to come it's not the it's not the virus this is going to be something else it's getting ready to come but notice the title the church is sleep god says and i gotta say it just like he said it and let me tell you this just came to me i don't ever get on here at no 6 47 it's always later i could try about 8 30. so i was actually uh, i like to watch watch combat and while i'm in the middle of a movie let me tell you what was going on they had a main okay it's about kingdoms i don't know why he always got me watching like war i'm not kidding so i already know what that means in the natural and in the spirit so this time though one of the guys everybody else partying everybody else was partying and chilling but he was in the back of the crowd and he just taking his swords and he just and and, and god said watch him watch him do you know 15 means 15 minutes later they came it was a it was a it was a hidden attack but he was ready because while everybody else was partying and parlaying, he was back there and, and he looked and it was so crazy. That's how I noticed it because he stopped. He looked, he said, like, what y'all doing? Y'all should be church. God say, you parlaying. Y'all quiet. <laughs> in order to be strong in the spirit, you got to spend time with God. That's one of the reasons y'all haven't seen me on here there was no way I could fight what I'm fighting if I didn't spend time with God with all due respect I love coming to y'all and tell y'all what does said the Lord but at the end of the day I could not do that unless I spent time with God and I noticed something the heavier my anointing is getting the more time is required I just said something I don't have time to be up on here all the time I don't have time trying to be famous trying to be great oops I just said what God told me to tell y'all y'all so busy trying to be great and famous this social media was a trick i'm telling you what god say he said yes it's used for his glory but it's used for the enemy the enemy is fattening us up for the kill y'all talking about them stimulus checks and everything y'all don't see what they doing <coughs> trying to talk somebody now let me tell y'all something they fattening us up for the kill martial law is almost here FEMA camps is almost here. New World Order is almost here. I know y'all want to hear that, but I've got to say it anyway. It don't matter if you believe it. You're going to remember when it starts happening. So we got to get back to business. And so I hurry up and I pause the movie. And I say, God, he said, I want you to get up on that and tell my people the church is sleeping. They're not ready. You're not ready, God says. You're not ready. If God allow martial law tomorrow, are you ready? And I'm just going to be real with you. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to look the people in the eye and say, guess what? You're not putting no chip in me. Oh, and, and hold on. This is going to be a hard to say at the Lord. Are you ready to watch your son and daughter, daughter die in front of you? Because they're going to tell you I'm about to kill them if you don't renounce Jesus Christ. See, we sitting up there playing. But that real stuff coming. And people don't like to hear it. They'll jump off here real quick. Or, or, oh, there she go again. I am mandated to say what thus said the Lord. So I get it. I get it. Because here's the deal. Everybody want to be branded these days. Everybody want to be this. Everybody want to be that. Are you going to be strong in the Lord? 
That's my mandate. My mandate is to build y'all up. Notice I don't even talk about the elite that much because guess what? That's coming. That's inevitable. But God told me, he said, but in this last day, build my people up. Make them strong in the Lord. And let them not be afraid. Hallelujah. For God I live and for God I die. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everybody can't roll with me. Y'all see what they do to me. Don't act like y'all don't see. Just cause, and one thing I noticed, y'all may not push that like button, but y'all peeping, mm -hmm. everything I put on here, er, trust me, they, they watching, er, everybody watching, all watching them, they watching us, y'all watch, everybody watching, but are you going to be ready? That's what God said. Are you going to be ready? Are you going to truly be ready to where you don't fall? Because here's what they doing. They shooting fear. That's what COVID was about. That's what all this stuff is about. I'm telling y'all. Right, that was their first card. That was the elite first card. Over a million people have died. To me, that was sacrifices unto Satan. And I know what y'all gonna say. Hold on, excuse me. All of a sudden, made me feel like I want to choke. Which I repeat that name of Jesus. Let me tell y'all something. There must be sacrifice. They always try to recreate sacrifice. As a matter of fact, that's how the enemy gives them power. He requires a life because it must be blood. It must be a blood sacrifice. Ooh, sound familiar, right? The same thing that Jesus Christ did on Nazareth, on, on the cross. Jesus Christ of Nazareth did on the cross. The enemy does. That's how he gives them the powers. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Witchcraft, black magic, hoodoo, voodoo, white magic. Because I, I don't care what y'all say. All of it is of the devil. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God was like, in this hour. In this last hour, spend time with me. Fast. Pray. We don't have time to play. And I know y'all think we do. And, and I know I've been I've been saying this for I don't know how many years. I really don't know. I know it started at 20 in 2014 when I saw the visions that I saw. I didn't just let me tell y'all something. I didn't just get up on here one day and just say, hey, no, it was strategically. God, God put me in places. God had prepared my mind. I was like, God, I said all that they're not gonna like me. And I never forget what I heard him say. Who do you love most? The people or, or me? And I was like, you. But I, but my mind had to be processed. I'm saying something. Because some of y'all y'all won't say what thus said the Lord because y'all scared. And y'all know they're watching. And you know they're going to talk about you. First of all, you got to get over people. And we talk, we're not talking about just prophets. We're talking about Christians. Stop caring about what somebody think about you. Thank God Jesus didn't think of like that. Come on, somebody. He knew he had one mission. And guess what? He even allowed Judas to help him. Go do what you got to do. <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't know when he picked Judas? Oh, sometimes that's what we do. We, we pick people or we choose people or we know our family and friends. We know they ain't right. But you know, you notice how they say keep your enemies close. I see why they say that. So that way you know what they know and everybody know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, somebody. I'm on one. I'm on one. I'm on one. I ain't lying. I, I've been fasting. I've been praying. That uh, Y'all see what they, they've been trying everything. I, I've never seen it this high. That's how I know I'm going to the next level. I said, oh, okay. I see what y'all doing. But God, God got us. So hold on. I'm not trying to put you in fear. I'm trying to say, and this is what God told me to tell you. Do you love this world or you love God? Because in this last hour, if you don't, if you don't disconnect from this world, you're going to take that chip. I'm just going to tell you what God said. We don't have time to play games. You're going to take that chip because guess what? Your mind is not going to be ready for what's coming. So if you, if you in the street, if you pardon, if you, if you doing this and you doing that and you're not preparing yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually, you heard what I'm saying? Because some of y'all going to have to run. Some of you, I told y'all a long time ago, have a bag ready. Some of y'all, God is going to permit to run. I told you, let me tell y'all something. That's why they watch me too. When I, when I had my classes, we're going to go here. There was a young lady and you know, I can't say her name. She said, Deanna, we have a lot of safe houses. And I truly believe that that's when they upped it in watching me when she said that. And I understood what she was saying. And I asked her when we talked, I said, don't say much more. Cause I said, I'm always being watched. And I truly believe that that was a pinnacle, a pivotal part of them starting to watch me. There are people that God showed me. I'm not lying. They just rocking in basements. They don't even have no technology. That's how the spirit is. They just rocking and waiting. And when the time comes, God going to say, now is the time. They got everything you're going to need. It's just going to be like some Harriet Tubman stuff. Y'all ain't ready for me. 
And so you're going to have to hear the spirit of God. Go there. Don't trust this one. Don't understand. You don't hear what I'm saying? Prepare your mind, said the Lord. They're here. They ain't coming. They're here. They, they're not just watching me. I hope y'all don't. Y'all. Y'all do understand that, right? Because I know some of y'all think, well, they, they're watching all of us. The vision I keep having, they really have a big, big room with nothing but computers. And I hate to bust y'all bubble. Even if you're just a Christian, even if you're not a Christian, let's go here. Everybody is being watched because they want to know who, what, and when. Who's on our side? Who's on their side? We all being watched. We all being recorded. That's, the enemy doesn't have the gift that God has. He's omnipresent. So he had to create all this media stuff, our cell phones. You know what the man in, okay, was it China or Russia? Russia have one of the most, I mean, let me tell y'all something. They got stuff that, you know what the man told somebody? The top, like, engineer of an Apple phone. He said, even when the phone off, we can hear any, everything you say. Google it if you think I'm lying. So I'm not trying to scare you guys, but it's time for us to rise up. It's time for you to be a soldier of Jesus Christ for real. But yeah, y'all y'all heard that, huh? Yeah, because something just moved. I know I ain't got, I'm, I'm right here. Anywho, <laughs> they be trying to do all kind of stuff to scare me. I've been seeing them things since I was 27 years old. I ain't scared. And they know that they got the right one. Hallelujah. God picked the right one. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, it's high time. However you got to do it. And this is how you do it. God, I don't understand what's going on. God, make me strong mentally. I pray with myself all the time. I, I always keep my oral. God, make me strong mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. Keep me ready, God. Strengthen my mind, my spirit. You're you going to need to be strengthened. You ain't going to be able to just do this. Let me tell y'all something. I used to be scared. I, I think y'all need to hear that. And God said, Dan, you better strengthen yourself. When this stuff first started happening, when I saw that Caucasian guy practically in the house the first time just looking dead at me in my face and he just walked away they didn't care that i knew they watching me come on now it was scary i said god, god said don't start that he said i already told you so what do i do what do i do he said strengthen yourself hallelujah he said i, I wrote fear do not fear 365 day, times in the bible i allowed it to be written so you could have one for each day God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Notice what he said. Power first. Love. I mean, you're going to have to love God more than this world. And of a sound mind. Don't let me lose my mind. Let me tell y'all something. This is where they attack. Not just prophets and apostolic people. Everybody. If they can get you in fear, that's it. Your emotions will start. And then you're... That's it. That's how they do everybody. That's how they, that's how they ruling. Fear. What did you think this COVID thing was? <laughs> the first thing of fear. You know, so, excuse me. So, I'm, I'm just telling you what does say at the Lord, y'all. And it's almost over with. I know y'all don't believe it, but. And it is true because I heard somebody told. I was I was ministering to somebody in my family. I ain't going to say the name. Oh, they've been saying Jesus coming since I was a little kid. And they about maybe eight, almost 70. I said, I get it. I get it. I know they've been saying Jesus coming. But that's not all what the scriptures say. They said that no one knows the day and the hour. But watch and pray that you fall not into temptation. So you have to read the whole thing if you're going to read some of it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So pray, pray, pray. Praise God. Um, congratulations to those that finished the fast. Um, I'm, I'm doing, I got my hands so, I'm so busy right now, y'all. Just pray. Wait a minute. Those that have a prayer life, pray for me. Those the other ones that's trying to P R E Y, you can't stop me. You ain't made me. Come on, somebody. And look, I heard somebody even call me Ushikaki. Yeah, I am. Sure am. When I look at the apostles, who are my favorite people in the Bible, them balls had to be bad. They had to know who they was because guess what? After Jesus Christ ascended and he sent the Holy Ghost to him. They already knew they was going to die. 
So I can imagine just being in that circle and I would have loved it. But technically we are, we're just in a different circle. Come on somebody, hallelujah. I can imagine when they all went their ways, before they went their ways, they probably said a mighty prayer. They say, for God we live and Jesus Christ we die. Let's do this. Let's turn this world upside down. And they did that. So my question to you, Christian, are you turning this world upside down? <laughs> what you doing? How much power do you have? Or are you of this world? We're, we're supposed to be about our father's business. Look at what nobody say or do. They're going to do what they do. I am persuaded that. But I'm also fully persuaded that God is God. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Is there anything too hard for me? Who can come against me? Hallelujah. I'll be a friend to your friend and an enemy to your enemies. That right there should have you, have you understanding that God is with you. Hallelujah. Everybody's not going to like you. And the more anointed you are, <sighs> Lord, I never saw so many enemies that I don't even know. I don't even know half these people. And the stuff they've been pulling, I will be honest with you because you need that, especially in this hour. One night, I told y'all they shot by the door. They were shot by the window right there. Yeah, trying to scare somebody. I can't even lie to y'all. No, I can't say it on here. God said, be careful. They're listening. All I can say is I got a position. And I, my dad had to talk to me. He said, Deanna, oh, yeah. Deanna came out. <laughs> I'm about to say, what? We, this is what we doing? <laughs> God had to pull me back. You don't fight like that. You got to fight in the spirit. Well, I was, <sighs> I'm only human. What? You, you shooting by my window? What's up? Come on now. Yeah, I'm a Christian. I love God, but what's up? I'm just being real. Y'all don't like that? I'm sorry. So, anywho, I had to come back to life. Okay, Jesus. All right, Jesus. Keep me, keep me, Lord. Because, Lord, you, you, you know, you know, you know. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can I be real? You got to stay praying up. Because it's like, you ain't trying to be out of character, but you, you only you. You can only get pushed so far. Hair in my car, come knock on the door and run, knock on that, my, my father's, my dad's, let me call my dad, 74 years old window. Oh yeah, you come out of character too. <laughs> what? You understand me? I, I'm sure you do. So with that being said, don't get it twisted. I'm still not Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I had to really pray. And my thing is, I don't even bother nobody. I don't even, I don't even know half of these people here. But they've been clowning. And I ain't going to lie to you. I'd be lying if I said I didn't ask Jesus. Just give me five minutes of Dean. That's my nickname. Just five minutes. Just five minutes. Maybe four. They'll never play with me again. <laughs> but you know Jesus wasn't going for that, right? So anywho, we got to stay prayed up. I know I'm crazy about telling y'all the truth up here. Up here. Up here. Don't play now. Like, like, like I was always saying. You know what I'm saying? Come back, Apostle. Come back. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, God bless y'all. I love y'all. We just got to stay prayed up. Because I'm telling you, they'll try to push you out of character. And I think that's what they want sometimes. So, you know, that's not of God. Let's be honest. So, stay strong. Don't let nobody pull you out of character. I'm glad God pulled me back because Deanie, I got to be real. I don't really like her. She don't know when to stop. <laughs> I'm just being real, so I'm glad. But So when she, she when she stick her head, I better be like, somebody do something, please. Somebody do something, please. <laughs> Apostle. <laughs> so God bless y'all. God keep y'all. And um, it's real. I hope y'all watching the sounds of the times. It's real. It's really real, y'all. All just aside, it's real. Get close to God like never before. I'm going to tell you what somebody told me, and I'm going to get off here. Watch, look, and listen. I'm going to say that one more time. Watch, look, and listen in this hour. I'm so serious, brothers and sisters of Christ. It's real. So God bless you. God keep you. Y'all know what time it is.
This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is truly who we are. God bless.